what's up guys, it's Sets Modern Warfare here, Game of Advanced Chicken and welcome to JTAG Tutorials episode 18 and I'm making this tutorial because a new update for Freestyle Dash has just come out and I thought I'd show you guys how to install it. There's a few separate ways of installing this update um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So first of all make sure your um, console is connected to the internet, not Xbox Live obviously, so just test your Xbox Live connection, once it gets to the internet and passes the internet part, uh, press B um, to exit out of that and you'll know you're connected, or enable, enable live block in Dash Launch and then just uh, test connection. And once you're connected to the internet, um, you might notice that uh, no nothing happens, just seems normal. So I'll show you guys here. So right now nothing new seems normal. It doesn't look like there is any new updates. It's Rev 735. Um, but if that happens and you don't get any notifications, you need to go to settings, then you head over to general settings, then receive update notices at startup make sure that's ticked and then enable beta updates make sure that's ticked as well uh, once they're both ticked you'll notice uh, if there's a new update available uh, when you next go on to freestyle dash you should get a notification telling you that uh, new updates are available as you can see there it's just popped up so uh, that's all good so to update we go to settings we go to general settings and then updates and then we've got these three here so we've got a dash update so we press A on that so it's tick we've got a skin update so we press A on that and a plugin update so we press A on that so we're R775, R775 and R801 for the plugin so then we're going to just um, press Y to apply selected updates it will say updates have been added and then down the bottom there you can see it says status HTTP two items left downloading at 377 kilobytes per second um, is that right that's yeah it is kilobytes per second also while it's downloading if it's taking a while you can press X to look at the change log which will tell you the uh, new features that have been added um, and the bug fixes and all that kind of stuff um, that you've got down here as you can see shows you the old versions as well um, up, the, up, the, up the top will be the new um, version that you're downloading information so brand new title update download system weather updated use new API keys that's useful because before then you had to use hex editor to fix that problem weather caches info for one hour on each boot signed in profiles achievements deleted screen captures okay um, basically once the updates have completed it will say um, restart F3 so you want to select that and then you get this black screen it will say to begin installation press the Y button so press the Y button it will extract and install the dashboard updates and once the updates have completed it will say press any key to reboot dashboard so just press any button on your controller uh, it should restart and now we have updated so we'll just head over to um, credits and you can see down the left hand corner there it says dash version 3.0 rev 775 so it has been updated successfully so that's the first method and the best method to um, do because that way you keep all your your stuff that you had before you don't have to like re-add your game paths or anything I don't think um, let me just confirm that uh, content settings yeah, so you don't have to um, re-add your game pass because it does that for you. Sometimes when you do that, the method I just showed you, sometimes you get a message saying Freestyle Dash has crashed. Uh, that can happen sometimes. Um, so I'm going to show you two other ways of updating if this way didn't work for, work out for you. Okay, so we could use the Freestyle Dash 3 installer, but I'm not going to show you that because I think that's kind of a waste of time. 
Um, it's like adding an extra download that you don't really need to do. I mean, why not download it directly rather than have to download an installer which then downloads Freestyle Dash? Why not just download Freestyle Dash directly? Uh, that's what we're going to do. So, what you want to do is on your computer head over to realmodscene.com, scroll down, um, and you can see here a new um, Freestyle Dash 3 Red 775 released. Um, it's also here where you can click See More here as well on this kind of banner that moves, moves around from different uh, items like Freestyle Dash and Dash Launch and all that stuff. So what you want to do is just scroll down and then there's the download right here. Sometimes the download will not be there and you have to uh, click see more or something like that or view full post if it's not the full post. Um, this is the full post, so the downloads right here. You just click, and it'll start downloading the latest version of Freestyle Dash. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, it should look like this. Um, extract F3 Rev 775.7 zip, 7 zip file. Um, then what you want to do is get a USB stick or transfer over using FTP, um, either one. So we're going to open this up, uh, create a new folder on the USB stick, just going to call it FSD for freestyle dash, and then copy all of these or extract all of these files into that folder. Okay, and once this is done, and it's all in there, all the files, we can now transfer this over to the JTAG, and I'll show you what you have to do from there. Uh, now we've got our USB stick plugged into the console, we're now going to head over to XEX menu, or you could use the uh, file browser in um, Freestyle Dash. So on the USB, I've got my Freestyle Dash folder, I just press Y and press A to copy, then go over to the hard drive and press Y and paste and what it's going to do is overwrite and you would click confirm and then it would overwrite. Now if you've renamed the folder to something with a different name as the original then obviously you're going to want to delete the original one first and then paste in the new one. I would recommend keeping it the same name that way you don't have to change the dash launch path um, but you know it's up to you if you want to have it a different name uh, the folder where freestyle dash is kept different to the previous version then you will have to go back into dash launch and uh, reconfigure it uh, the, the path to freestyle dash um, that's the only thing the only bad thing about doing it this way is that you will have to completely um, add in all your game paths and stuff back on and all your new all your skins and stuff back in um, that's the only bad thing. So the first method's the best, uh, but if you can't install it with the first method, then uh, you'll have to do this method or the Freestyle Dash 3 installer method. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment. Uh, of course, like the video if you liked it and found it useful, and uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. This is really how we live. Woo! <laughs>